well to use it though by the referee. Here's Marlon Yard off that wing, and he is going to make it. First try of the series for England. Marlon Yard straight through Richie McCaw. Of all picks, when England need a one more good pass. With a narrow. And New Zealand going now with Coles finding Cruden. Cruden with a dummy. Morgan couldn't do much about it. Out it goes to Savir. Savir, man inside is Smith. And Smith saved his team before half time. Now he scores for them on the other side of the interval. Ben Smith, Dunedin ball. Aaron Smith again spins it out to Corey Jane. It's going wide for Nonu. That normally means problems. It normally means damage. He got it out somehow to Kaino. Savir is in. Try. Well, they picked up the pace, haven't they? And they're so powerful. It's Aaron Smith makes the burst. He gets a mismatch against David Wilson, and he's straight through him. And this is where England are struggling thereafter. Halfbacks do well. Daddy Care stays on the wing to make sure the pass can go. Farrell makes a definitive hit, but that's 30 metres beyond the gain line. And whereas England don't take these chances, at the moment the difference between the best and the aspiring is New Zealand do. Super play from Nonu there. Offload there from Kano. And Sevilla, he's never going to miss that. Just draws Burrell, gets beyond the gain line, clever one-handed ball. The number eight steps and goes. That's made to look very easy, but it wasn't. And Yard, Troy Trees looks for the money ball. That's a good one, though. And it goes wide again to two in Lange. And then it goes even wider to Mike Brown. And then it's inside, and Chris Ashton's going to score. And England do get that little bit closer and do have that score to take to Hamilton. England wanted their host to experience instead of being on the other end of. Chance was there and they took it. Suralangi drew two men there as if he was a New Zealand. That was really good. But the other bloke who's made a big difference and, and led to England getting to front. Manu Tuilangi played so well together in the first test. This is a different sort of test. Ben Smith, the little dummy, he's got support inside. Rossavia got a brace. And now Aaron Smith has two applause from the coach. And this, the kind of treatment England had been used to in this country in recent times. Dummy on yards flank. He waits there, he hasn't got support coming, Burns can't make the tackle. Ben Smith picking the sort of line we saw from Conrad Smith last week, but instead of going wide, sells the dummy to Yard, looks inside, Aaron Smith there, the Highlanders 1-2, the scrum half on hand, celebrated the try, four tries already. Perinara, Smith, Corey Jane, oh he's travelled well there, he's got to get the hat-trick! It's the perfect finish for Sarvia for New Zealand. Whitewash complete over the men in white. 3-0 was always the favourite here. Now equal the world record of 17 matches won in a row. That's the difference in class is the ability of New Zealand in five metre channels to finish. Sarvia is a world-class player. Corey Jane hasn't been at his best, but with Ben Smith again just stepping inside the challenges, England missing too many tackles, New Zealand make it look easy. I think England really from this test have to look at the first half and say those are the levels we have to aspire to. Having a stunning game. Here's Conrad Smith. England being opened up all over the shot now. Not who's stepping, stepping and scoring. Sure, will take that time. Keep driving this one. Told to use it though by the referee. Here's Marlon Yard off that wing, and he is going to make it. First try of the series for England. Marlon Yard straight through Richie McCaw of all people. Bust the All Black captain tackle number seven. Keep your eye on him. Just through that left shoulder as if McCaw isn't there. Second bounce and he is over. And Burrell, who's carried well to start, is alongside him. McCaw shrugged off by Yard. What a start for England. After a scrum on their own try line, Morgan turned defence into attack with a powerful carry. The ball found its way to Carl Eastmans, 
whose inspired break momentarily opened up the All Blacks. With the English forwards having success at scrum time, the backs were making inroads into their opponent's half. Johnny May kicked through to force the All Blacks under pressure, with England halted illegally on the try line. That gave Burns a full shot at the post, and his coolly taken kick nudged his side back in front again. <laughs> 